what is going on guys brown here and welcome to something a bit different on my channel today today i'm going to be showing you how to defend on f1 2020 and what we're going to be doing we're going to be looking at examples from the game and examples from real life comparing them and then helping you to see what what you need to do in certain situations of defending your position before we get into it though you need to remember these three simple rules of defending you can see it on screen now the first one is you can only move once so that basically means you can't drive down a straight and weave all the way down it until you get to the next corner you you can't do that Hamilton did something like that in Malaysia once and he ended up getting a penalty for it so you can't do that. Number two is that you cannot block other drivers and that basically means you can't wait for the driver attacking to make their move and then you go the same way as them and block them off. You can't do that either. And then the third rule is you cannot force another driver off the track. So the first example is from last season's British Grand Prix. So what we're going to be looking at in these examples we're going to be looking at driver positioning so the racing line is where Hamilton is here and Bottas is then basically he's come over from that racing line over here to defend his position and then he'll go all the way down here to defend his line now that he's made his one move he can't make another until he gets to the next corner so what does this mean for Bottas then here? You know, if you if you watch this race, you'll know how it plays out. But, so what does it mean for Bottas? So basically, Bottas is on this line into Brooklyn's. And then, in theory, he'll force Hamilton wide and then keep the position. But Hamilton then, his line is on the optimum line, on the line you need to take. So, what ends up happening is that you can see here there's there's a space we were on about earlier that basically this means that Bottas going into Brooklyn's because he's defended so to the inside he has a much tighter line into turn one and of course in Formula One you want to open up the corner because you want to carry as much speed as possible through the corner so you want to take it as wide as possible not too wide though you want to be in that sweet spot between not too tight but then not too wide either and this is basically Hamilton here is in that sweet spot of he's not too wide but he's not too tight either whereas Bottas he isn't Bottas is right tight so basically after leaving off so he's come round here He's then, because he's gone so tight, he's going to go wide. And what does that allow Hamilton do, to do? He knows Bottas is going to go wide. So all he has to do is hold his line here, wait for Bottas to go wide. Bottas, his line was here. He's then gone wide. Hamilton was here. And then Hamilton, like we were saying earlier, would have carried his line and then cut back. So he's cut back to the outside. Bottas now isn't carrying as much speed through the corner so Hamilton now can have the exit to go and try and have a go round the outside into Luffield whereas Bottas now loses out he then goes side by side with Hamilton so he has to leave the space plus the teammates so you're always going to be that bit more careful as well what happens next though is that Hamilton he overtakes um, Bottas coming out of left field but Bottas is back in his slipstream so Hamilton here you can see he's on the racing line but he then tries to turn and force Bottas to right to the inside as they're approaching Cops which is one of the quickest track um, corners not only on the track but also on the calendar as well so Bottas here you can see he was around here and now He's come off the racing line, he's got in the slipstream, so he's looking for a move. This is where defending yet again, 
can go wrong because Hamilton is placed a car in the middle of the track, which allows Bottas to go either way. But I'm not saying that putting your car in the middle of the track is bad because it's probably one of the best ways to defend. Because if they try to go around the outside, you can for you can you know you can force them out. If they're not alongside you fully, they go to the inside, you're right in the middle of the track. So they're going to go wide so you can cut back up the inside of them. So being positioning your car is a big part in defending. So when I look at it from the other angle, this is pretty much the same. You can see Hamilton's position, tried to position his car right in the middle of the track. But he's been too nice to Bottas. And Bottas has a lot of space. And this will be something we'll be looking at in a minute. He leaves Bottas a lot of space and Bottas eventually goes on to win that position back. Now we're going to look at where it goes wrong in certain situations on the racetrack. This is Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton last year as well. And basically what this means is you can see Hamilton was right behind through the curve of Grande and then try to go to the outside. Charles Leclerc positions his car right in the middle of the track, forces Hamilton to that outside, but then what does he do? Instead of leaving the space, he tries to he tries to squeeze Hamilton. You can see if we go back to the Bottas um example, you can see how much space Hamilton left Bottas. If we go back to the Charles Leclerc example, you can see there that there is no space whatsoever between the tyres and they do touch Hamilton is forced pretty much off the track to avoid an instant and he goes on goes straight on at that corner Leclerc defensive position and then ultimately goes on to win the race Leclerc also got a, a warning for that incident so that's where you can be over aggressive in your defending so how does it pay off defending well well here's some examples this is from Silverstone and back to Silverstone at this time on the game and you can see here that this is us on the inside you've got Max Verstappen here in his Ferrari and you've got George Russell you can see where I've marked that out so what do we do here we've got our line that's going to go down here Verstappen and you would think is just going to get squeezed out but he isn't and then we have our line there so free wide it can only it can go wrong very quickly free wide but what happens is we actually because we're trying to defend we don't really have the slipstream you've also got the ERS to defend but I'll talk about that more in an attacking video you can see we've started to drop back a little bit and then Verstappen looks like he's going to win the battle out and then you've got George Russell there as well so what happens next though is I break late to try and re overtake um, the George Russell and Max Verstappen and you'll see here you can see it just here is that what happens is I run, I run wide that then allows Verstappen to get up the inside and also George Russell is trying to go around the outside here though I'm completely off the track so I've got to kind of wait George Russell's going to go down there and then you've got Max Verstappen like that so next though I get back onto the track George Russell comes over Verstappen actually backs out of it and then you can see here that we are now pretty much level with George Russell going into the Vale chicane. So we've kind of cut across. George Russell's right at the edge of the track, so he's trying to defend to the outside. Whereas we're on the inside, we kind of can do whatever we want to in a way. So what happens is we have the inside, so we can break later. In theory, yes, we can. And in practice, we can as well. So you can see Verstappen here. This is actually a lovely angle from Verstappen. Um, we outbreak George Russell. He's gone wider. And then we do take that position back and get the 
and re kind of we defend both of them we get that position back and then we can get on with our race so where's best to defend well as you can see on your screen now these are kind of a breakdown of each point the inside would mean that your opponent has a tighter line so in theory it is easy to defend if you break at the right point because they're going to go wide so you could cut back but if they break if they manage to break later than you then they can stop you doing that cut back and then you re then you can't obviously regain that position the outside is harder to defend but depending on the corner means you can carry more speed so the driver on the inside that you're trying to defend against will have to break more than if you're on the outside at the examples we were looking at so the final one then the middle of the track as we were saying with the inside and the outside it's kind of the best of both worlds the middle of the track because yes on one hand you're giving the attacking driver the option of the inside or the outside but it's easier to defend because it's basically what going to one side is but in one if you want to put it like that so put your car in the middle of the track this picture this if the driver goes to the inside they're going to have a tighter line they're going to go wide and then you can cut back up the inside of them if they go wide depending on the corner yes they may be able to carry some more speed but if you're still slightly in front of them you can squeeze them out and then get on with your way so that's where it's kind of the middle of the track if you want to know my opinion is the best way to go just because it is a bit of both if you go to the inside you're gonna you're committing yourself to a tighter line you go to the outside you're just waving them through depending on what the corner is so but if you're in the middle you can be ready for either or if it was to happen so that's pretty much it to be honest really hope you enjoyed this if you found it helpful then let me know down below this is one of the first times I've made a video like this so if you enjoyed it but there's things that you think I could improve then let me know down below if you want me to do any other videos like this like if you want to know how to overtake and attack someone or even anything else like that then let me know down below as well but if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button if you want to see more like this then subscribe as well turn on the bell if you want as well you get notified when i upload i will see you hope you enjoyed i will see you in the next video goodbye